We got quite the system of air drills coming in today. Oh my goodness, there's an air drill ahead of us. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful we don't get caught in a situation we don't want to be in. Looks to me like it's a, uh, a Morris. That's one heck of an air drill, guys. Radar's indicating that several are getting back into the fields today, so uh, we'll see what we can find. Something just might develop here up north a little bit. I can just get a little closer. Oh, it's turning in the field, it's turning in the field. How's it going guys? Riley here. It's a little windy out here today, so I gotta stay in the windbreak here, but behind us, we got a pretty cool little process going on. This is uh, our good friends at Sustainable Oils. They're the Camelina guys. They are planting trials with a little baby seed drill. We're in Chester, Montana. Behind us here, got the Sweetgrass Hills with some snow in them. If it weren't for the wind, it'd be a pretty nice morning. All right, journey continues. We're gonna go back to exactly where we were yesterday because, you know, that's how things work. So what, I drove 100 miles south. Now we're gonna go 100 miles north. Welcome to Montana. Welcome to how quick things can change in agriculture. We're gonna go catch the big drill at the same exact spot that we were at yesterday. Only instead of the small plot tractors, now it's the big air drill. The actual farmer seeding his own Camelina crop. So, Sustainable Oils being the current client here requested that I go up and we get some footage of that for them to use. So we're gonna go do that. Let's go. Right there. There's an air drill. Right there. And I thought we were the only ones in the state that still ran a Morris air drill. Nope. We saw two of them today. One of them on the road, one of them behind me. The one behind me is planting a few acres of Camelina seed for this year. There, it's a first time grower, they're gonna try it out. And beans, we got what we need for today. I think we're gonna call it good. We're gonna head back and pick this back up next week where we go back out chase even more air drills, this time spring wheat and barley with the Montana Wheat and Barley Committee. Springtime farm work out and about again. I am having a lot of fun just being somewhere that isn't the office.
Okay, that was fun. Broadview, Montana, Seedmaster drills, versatile tractors. Uh, this was done so in part of a uh, crop update for the Wheat and Barley Committee. So here's a pretty cool thing. The Wheat and Barley Committee is actually starting their own uh, YouTube channel and they're gonna post all their crop updates across Montana there. And some of that's gonna be my work, some of that's gonna be the work of um, their own communications guy, Jason Laird. So you should definitely subscribe to Wheat and Barley on YouTube. One more stop, one more air drill chase. Here it is. And now for this week's episode of What's Caught on My Air Seeder Opener. Buckle off a harness from a horse. This has been farmed a lot of years, I guess that's proof. Back to horse days. Just riding along here, Dad is seeding. We're on the third pass on the headlands, and what are you gonna get on an AB here soon? Or uh, I haven't really thought that far. I'm just cruising. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a drive through the country. So we moved to a different part of the field here, and uh, went powering down monitors. What are we doing here? You're well, quitting already? Shutting all these things down. It's only early in the evening. We don't have to quit. Don't tell anybody. So here we are at a winter wheat field here on the farm, and this particular field right here doesn't look too bad. It's a fairly even stand on the crop. Pretty good for especially being up here on top of a hill and everything too, um, and the way this particular field is. So looking good. The reason this one's looking better is it was seeded earlier in the season last fall. There are a lot of winter wheat fields on the place that dad had seeded a little later in the fall, especially when we were really leaning into that lack of moisture last fall, and those fields don't look so great. So um, actually there's going to be some winter wheat acres that are going to be reseeded into spring wheat. I believe that's the plan they came up with last. One of the better ones right here, but not perfect. I'm sitting here and I'm definitely noticing some stress indicators of the drought in this crop. Um, there's a lot of, you know, right here, this isn't too bad. This right here, not not too terrible. You'll notice some discoloration in the leaves. Uh, got some streaking going on already. I mean, this is a very early season. This is May. We're in May, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's up with that. Um, I'm not an agronomist, so I'm actually not very good at the negative indicators of wheat and identifying them. But uh, somebody here is Farmer Matt. Well, and my dad and my grandpa who have actually been farming here for years and years and years. So yes, that's the quick crop update. We'll keep you in the loop as the season goes on, as I'm sure I'll be through here a pretty decent amount, although I'm not full time on the farm. Still stop here, here and there. I do see to the south of us over here, we do have some rain showers. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to track far enough north to hit the farm here. And yeah, that, that's, that's just how it goes. A lot of moisture goes south of here, particularly as of recent, a lot of the moisture has been hitting the southern part of the state more so than up here. However, the guys that really, really, really need rain right now here in May are up there. So behind me is the Bear Paw Mountains. That's, never mind, you can't see them from here. So about a hundred miles that way, is Haver, Montana and the High Line. And I was up there doing some crop camera installation, 
for the wheat and barley committee it was a dust bowl out there they've had nothing for rain as of recent so those guys really need moisture we've at least gotten a little bit here but none of us are out of the woods yet we're still most definitely in drought up here in montana we're praying for rain appreciate your prayers as well and uh you know what in the long run we'll be fine but hopefully at some point in the future we get some moisture and if it can be this year we can have a good growing year and take advantage of those higher wheat prices that would be awesome that's gonna do it for today's video though so thank you very much for watching if you enjoy what you're seeing here and want to follow my journey across montana here at the farm and at some other client farms across the state Subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Anyway, we got to head back to the next place, so I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.